Ford Australia has announced that the facelifted S550 Ford Mustang will go on sale down under in the second half of the year. The sixth-gen pony car gets a fair number of upgrades and revisions for its mid-cycle action MCA, makeover. Exterior-wise, the update introduces a redesigned grille and lower, remodeled bonnet as well as a new position for the bonnet air intakes. The entire model lineup also comes with all LED front lighting as standard, besides LED projector main units, the front LED turn signal and fog lamp cluster also go the LED route. At the back, there are revised LED tail lamps, a new bumper and a performance spoiler. The exhaust tip layout has also been reconfigured, with dual tips for the EcoBoost and a quad tip exhaust for the GT, along with a black rear diffuser. The Australian spec Mustang EcoBoost features a fresh alloy wheel design, with a 19-inch luster nickel wheel available as a factory option. The GT carries over the mesh design from the current model, while also offering an optional 5-spoke 19-inch forged alloy. The interior gets improved touch points and visual cues for a more premium look and feel. The center console adds a new hand-stitched wrap with contrast stitching and padded knee bolsters, while door handles, rings and bezels are finished in aluminium. Restyled seating surfaces feature new patterns, and there are also six sway leather upholstered Rica Eurosports seats as a factory fitted option. Aside from an 8.0 inch display for the SYNC 3 infotainment system, there's a new 12 inch digital LCD instrument cluster offers customization of the display for normal, sport and track modes as well as color and gauge layout settings, and a My Mode function allows favorite drive settings, including suspension and steering preferences, to be stored. Elsewhere, an active valve exhaust system, standard on the GT, allows the exhaust note to be adjusted. As before, 2.3-liter EcoBoost and 5.0-liter V8 models will be available in that market, in fastback and convertible body styles. An output is up on the 5.0-liter Coyote. The Oz version offering 454 horsepower and 556 newton meters, pre facelift, 435 horsepower and 542 newton meters, slightly less than the North American version. As for the EcoBoost, listed power output is lower at 300 horsepower, but reports indicate that this is due to a new measuring system that has come into place and that on a rolling road the output doesn't lose out to the preface lift. Torque has been marginally increased to 441 newton meters from 434 newton meters previously. For more updates, subscribe Motoguru.